This question looks scary because we don't really work with box plots that much and there's a lot going on. And so for a lot of us, this is just feels like, oh no, I don't know enough to do this. Well, here's just one thing to remember with box plots that at least gives you a 50-50 shot here. The most important thing is that all of the lines that we really see with box plots have to do with medians, okay? So you really just want to link that idea in your head. A box plot really has to do with the median of a data set, right? That's the middle number. So that's not the mean, right? The mean is the average. That's something different, and they don't appear in box plots. Like, means are important for other reasons, but if we see box plots, we really can only talk about the median. And so that's going to at least get rid of A and B. Mostly just because, like I said, we don't have that association. We don't associate the word mean with the with the idea of a box plot. So this is just, you know, at least going to get us down to C and D, which do use the right vocabulary talking about medians. Now you can hopefully just figure it out based on common sense. The median in normal terms is the middle number, right? So if we arranged all the numbers from, you know, uh, smallest to largest, we would have the median in the middle, right? We just cross them off from both ends. Now, if you're looking at this box plot and you're comparing group one and group two, what looks like the middle? Well, probably the middle of each box. Right, so again, it's kind of intuitive. If you just let it be intuitive and don't get overwhelmed by it, like it makes sense. So the middle is further to the right, bigger for group one than group two. So the median of one is greater than the median of two. Let's see if there's an answer choice that matches that. C, the median of group one is greater than the median of group two. Yeah, that's it, that's the whole thing. So yes, um, box plots are more complicated. There are other ideas that we need to think about just to kind of very briefly discuss them. We have uh, at the ends here of each of these box plots, uh, let me zoom in I guess, we've got the minimum is gonna be this little whisker sometimes it's called, the maximum of the set is right here. Those hopefully are also very intuitive. The big problem for most people comes from uh, this part, these two, the ends of the boxes. Um, these are usually referred to as the, the upper and lower quartiles or the first and third quartiles. The, the way to really think about it is they're also medians. Remember, a median takes a set of data and splits it in half and says, okay, half the numbers are smaller than this, half the numbers are bigger than this, right? It, it finds the middle number. A quartile, well, think of the word, quartile, it's, it's a fourth. So it's taking each half and splitting it again, right? So the first quartile is taking kind of like the lower half of all the data and then finding the median of that half. So again, this really just, the, the idea I want you to take away for even easy questions about box plots is that they're all about medians. Medians and box plots go together. So if you're given one, at least kind of start with that simple thought. You might need more advanced stuff, but it might be the case that just thinking about the word median is enough to get the question right. And I think here it's all you need to get this.